What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, if you follow my Instagram, you'll already know about this topic. You'll already have seen this picture that I made, this meme. Um, I'm wondering where the fuck the numbers are for Pacquiao Bradley. Now, this fight took place at the beginning of the month, April 12th, and Bob Arum himself, he's been on record, there's an interview, and he assured the public that this fight would do over a million buys in pay-per-view buys. And I haven't heard shit. It's just all quiet on the Western front here in crickets. And I'm wondering, what's up with the fucking numbers? Like, did it do over a million? Now, this goes back to Mayweather and Pacquiao. At one point, it could be argued that Manny Pacquiao was an equivalent star, I guess you could say. Um, he never really did the same numbers that Mayweather did for whatever reason. And some people on Instagram, they were trying to argue with me, um, regarding this. And I only see it this one type of way. Not that I'm not willing to hear anyone else's argument, but what you're saying makes no fucking sense. Now, the argument is that Floyd Mayweather has stacked undercards, therefore he sells over a million. Duh. I mean, if he has a, that just shows you what type of businessman Floyd Mayweather is. He's partnered and he hasn't severed ties with Oscar De La Hoya, a fighter he beat that could have had bad blood. I don't know if Oscar De La Hoya even personally likes Mayweather like he likes Canelo or whoever or Victor Ortiz. He might just be willing to do business with him. But Mayweather talked, to, I don't know if you guys remember way back when he fought De La Hoya. Mayweather talked a lot of shit. He was like, I'm the top dog. I'm going to make you respect me, pussy. Like, Mayweather was in his face talking the gang of shit. So, they have a history, and they've also fought. But they're also businessmen to the point where they could put all past um, altercations or whatever aside and conduct business together and work together, both Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions. And it's a successful marriage. It's a successful partnership. So, some people are arguing that Mayweather doesn't really do pay-per-view buys. People buy just to watch him lose. Now, I don't doubt that. Some people hate him, so they want to see him fucking lose. But either way, you're still supporting him. And if your argument is the fact that he has stacked undercards based on his business relationship with Al Heyman and Golden Boy, either way, it, he's still doing these numbers for whatever reason. So you sound fucking stupid. People are comparing Pacquiao. Pacquiao is with top rank. He has chose to stay with top rank. He had a, an out before. Um, they're talking about renewing and extending his contract. It's not it's not uh, Mayweather promotion or Golden Boy's fault if top rank has a limited stable and they choose not to have undercards worth mentioning. So whether Mayweather had Abnamades and De, De Leon or Canelo and Gomez or... Victor Ortiz or whoever, Adrian Broner, Miracon, whatever big star in this undercard, that's smart. That's smart business. But somebody was really trying to argue that the only reason Mayweather pushes over a million per pay-per-view is because it's undercard. And you can't say that because you can't distribute based on you not liking a certain person and distribute where each number came from. Obviously, having a big star himself like an Amir Khan or a Canelo or an Adrian Broner, someone who has a, their own following without, with or without Mayweather, of course that's going to help your numbers because they have their own fan base. But why was Canelo fighting on a Mayweather undercard? Why is Adrian Broner willing to fight on a Mayweather undercard? Why is, um, especially look at Amir Khan. Amir Khan was fucking dissed by, Amer by uh, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd had this whole poll. He's like, yeah, Mayweather poll, vote. Who do you want to see me fight? Amir Khan versus Marcos Maidana. Amir Khan fell for the bait, fell for the mousetrap, and he won the poll. Floyd still didn't give him the fight. So if anything, you should be resentful because Mayweather played you in front of people. And he made you think that you were in the Mayweather sweepstakes and you were going to get this big mega fight with him. And then he went the other direction. So if anybody has resentment towards Floyd Mayweather, it should be Amir Khan because he got played. He got strung along like a puppet. And... He's fighting on Mayweather's undercard. So that just goes to show you that there's a level of power and there's a level of exposure that you're going to get fighting on a Mayweather undercard. That's why people want to fight Mayweather or fight on his undercards, point blank. So you can't isolate and say, oh, he only did a million because a Canelo was on his undercards in the past. He only did a million because 
abnormatis. Like it's a collaborative effort. It's a group effort. They all help each other out. And it's just Mayweather Promotions, Al Heyman and Golden Boy are smart enough to load the the cards with Mayweather because he's already his own star and he's the highest paid athlete in in sports. So they're smart enough to take their cash cow or the cash cow that they work with and load his cards to make it more like to make it sell better. I mean, it is what it is. So as far as Pacquiao and top rank, where are these fucking numbers? Again, Bob Arum said that they were going to do over a million. And I haven't heard shit. I haven't heard a forecast. I ain't heard Dan Rayfield. I ain't heard Bob Arum. I have not heard anybody. So Carcino, if you're watching this, I know you have a relationship with Bob Arum. Call him and link me to the video. I want to know what these numbers are. Point blank, period. And again, this just supports that Pacquiao is not the the same pay-per-view star that he once was, and he's not the same. He's not on the same level. Not I'm talking not talking about fighting. I'm talking about he's not on the same level in terms of drawing power, at least this point in his career. And it goes to show you his last fight with Brandon Rios, it was supposed to be in Macau, China, which was gonna be the Mecca of boxing, the new venture, the new frontier of boxing. It's Vegas on acid and bigger than Vegas and bright lights. And then he barely hit like 500,000 K buys with Brandon Rios, who I thought had a, like a pretty decent following, like on Twitter and shit. And a lot of people like Brandon Rios, real aggressive, come forward, lots of heart. Um, so I honestly thought that would sell better. Now we're getting this Timothy Bradley. And again, it's April 29th. The fight took place on the 12th. Usually it takes a week and a half, two weeks. When are we going to hear these numbers, these alleged numbers from Pacquiao? Now, you can dislike the video. You can say Pacquiao is just as big of a star as Mayweather. You can say whatever the fuck you want. But men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Where are the fucking numbers? Why have we not heard anything about Pacquiao Bradley 2, which was a good fight? The undercard sucked dick. I told you all that before, and I remain true to that. But I liked it. I supported it. I went over to a friend's house. He bought it. So I didn't have to buy it, but I would have bought it. So it's not about me. I would have support. And I support a lot of cars that some of y'all say y'all streaming. I mean, I've streamed before, too. I'm not trying to get it twisted. But for the big fights, I usually get them. Either that or go to my bro's house and um, go to my friend's house or whatever. But I usually put money back in boxing just because I love the sport. Just want to know where the Pacquiao Bradley Part 2 numbers are. It's been quite a while. That's why I made this meme. And I'm just wondering what the numbers are. Like I said, Bob Aram said it'd be over a million and we haven't heard anything. So usually that's a bad indication. So I'm feeling bad for top rank right now because their stable is dwindling down. Again, you got fighters ending um, or entering the twilight of their career. Chavez Jr. doesn't look like he wants to resign. Mikey Garcia, another big star trying to get out of his contract. And you got a ton of people off of losses. Timothy Bradley, Mike Alvarado, Brandon Rios off of losses all fighters off losses and they kind of have to rebuild so it's going to be interesting and hopefully we see it into this cold war bullshit because i don't know how long top rank is going to be able to to perform at this caliber with uh lackluster undercards and just trying to put one big match and expecting people to pay 65 70 dollars for hd or whatever at this rate just working in-house and just working with in-house fighters maybe at one point when they had margarito and everybody they were able to do that. I don't think this is the case anymore. So we might be entering um, some sort of transition where Bob Arum swallows his pride, realizes that Pacquiao is a fading cash cow. And I have no problems with Pacquiao. I like Pacquiao. He's an exciting fighter. But I'm just giving it to you real. And that's what it is. He is a shell of his former self, both in the ring and his draw power. And Mayweather, just his last fight, set a record-breaking number, and they loaded this card, so I think Marcos Maidana and Mayweather, I think it'll sell pretty good. A lot of people are expecting it, and they loaded it. But as far as some of you guys saying that bullshit, like, oh, if Mayweather didn't have Canelo and Amir Khan and Adrian Broner on this card, he would do 300000 But guess what? He does. So I don't care. I don't want to play. I want to play the fact game. If you could dispute what I'm saying with fact, not your opinion, not what the fuck you think would happen if Canelo wasn't on this card or if Adrian Broner and Amir Khan weren't going to be on the moment card. That's not the case. They are on the card 
And like I said, Amir Khan got shitted on and he still chose to be on the card. So you can't pick and choose and determine that, oh, because Amir Khan's on the card, that's why they did a, a 1.4 million or whatever this particular card does. It doesn't work like that. That's like me saying 21 Jump Street was only a hit comedy and sold a million tickets because of Channing Tatum. It doesn't make sense. What about the people who are fans of Jonah Hill? What about the people who are just fans of comedy and they just seen the preview and they look good? What about the, the fans of the original series with Johnny Depp, the TV show? You can't just isolate it and say, because Canelo was on Mayweather's undercard, that's the only reason he sold. Obviously, Canelo has a fan base and he's proven that. In the Austin Trout fight, they did like 40,000 seats. And without a doubt, Canelo's a rock star. He brings money to the table. But it's a it's a accumulative combined effort on Golden Boy, Mayweather promotion, and Al Heyman's part that makes this possible. You can't just take Mayweather out of the question that out of the equation and say it's the people on his undercard. And let Bob Arum tell it. He said people don't even give a fuck about the undercard. So um I'm just wondering where the Pacquiao numbers are. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Hate, I don't really give a fuck. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video's ego signing off. Thank mm -hmm. you.